So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. We see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. What are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest format. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time again. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. We're getting nowhere fast. Let's not get stuck here. We need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Guys, slip and slide. <laughs> Tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor. What were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How did we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch?
Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? The British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean... The guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. Definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? Oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. I right, just gotta put the winch back and we'll be on our way. <laughs> Be 
Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> Those poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, yeah. still taking a long time. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Shoreline goons. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just <laughs> do blind luck. Could come down any minute. One to go. A 
Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Easy. <laughs> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money... Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah you're right. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me. Hey, hey, is that a well? Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. So, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books for the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case. Ah, uh, uh, you know, see that smoke? Shoreline, slow down. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Check it out, boys. What is it? Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <laughs> Check this out. The hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Ugh. <sighs> 
Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Push a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this? Mm-hmm. I see it. Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one train, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Shoreline show up. Hey. Ah. Let's get that bridge down. Tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh?
to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Let's not get stuck here. Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in play. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partnered with There we go. <laughs> Set. Here we go. Uh -oh. Sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. The whole thing under control. Hold on to something. Ah. Ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Yeah, almost. Find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Thank you. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Breaked over. All right, let's look around. Heads up! Oh, Jesus! I said heads up! Right 
He seems excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. Don't see a treasure, though. Hey guys, coming. <clears throat> Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrow, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? You gotta push a button, pull something? Well, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <coughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Jesus. Is that all of them? Well, let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? It's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Uh, 
but still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right, I'm gonna take this tower, you and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly, so if we wanna have a chance to catch them, then we've gotta split up. Oh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. <laughs> 